Okay. Uh, it says learn more. Oh, it says you're live. Okay, so that's going to be a, a great beginning. Yeah. Hi, everyone. We're live today. It's a Tuesday, and we're going to head down to the Art Resident Studio where Dave and Bex are knee-deep in some cool projects, mm. and they're going to show them to you. So we call this Studio Time ah. with Art Resident. Are you going to bust out a rhyme? Uh, maybe soon. Maybe, or maybe we'll just listen to some bust-out rhymes. Okay. Okay, so this is where the magic happens. Hi, boys. Hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. We are live. Welcome to Tacky Tuesdays. We call it. Just hanging out, making some art for our kids. Whoa, let's take a look at this. Whoa! Super, super colorful. All right, We're yes. almost done. Almost Wait, done. We'll start from the one side. Here we go, left to right. As you, so, as Jack, you, do you remember what, uh, what, what I called this? Triptych. That's right. Triptych. Uh, triptych. So, what, Rebecca, is triptych art? No, you tell them, Jack. I already talked. Whoa, this is so weird. This is Amber Davenport says hi from Tri City. So we're doing Tri Dick Art and she's from the Tri City. Anyways, trying too hard to connect these disparate yeah. points, Jeff. Fair enough, fair enough. We got eight people watching though. So hi, hey, Amber. thanks for thanks for joining hey, us. Hi Amber. hi Amber, thank you. This is for in our kids' toy room. And we've been working on it for so long. And we just neglected it, so we're just gonna finish it today and then we're gonna resin it. This is what you do in Canada over the long winter. That's right. Survive. Hi from Arizona, from Terry Hicks. And Amber, hey, thanks Terry. for laughing at her terrible humor. Oh boy. But look at this, look at this. So yes, Triptych is uh, three panels of art that are combined, combined to make one giant image. But it also has, there's other art where you have two uh, yes, and yes. four. There's, so there's... Hi, grab a paintbrush. Come on, Quad. two pieces. Two is by by diptych. Yep, diptych. And then there's four is uh, four is poly. Yes. Poly two. From the Latin meaning many. There you go. So yeah, this looks awesome. So very colorful. This is going downstairs in your kid's room or play area. Yeah, play area. Nice. And it's a it's an original composition by David W. Zach. Nice. Yeah, it's just a weekend started out as a sketch. So this is the. Oh, let's take. Oh, good call. So this is where it started. Yeah. Tell me about it, Dave, your inspiration. Well, we have a boy and a girl, so um, they both kind of love different things. This is a sandcastle, a scary dinosaur, of course, and our two cats, and at the beach with a rainbow. So I think we nailed everything we needed to. Wow. And, and Dave, there we why go. does the dinosaur have a shoe on? Because it's a big sneaker. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Right. Is he Fair a enough. sneaky dinosaur? His kids love that stuff, you know? Yeah. He's also holding flowers. That's true. Clips, which, you know, obviously. It's not, it's not no for dinosaurs. This is a good dinosaur. Yeah. But it's smart, right? It's, it's, it's these subtle things that your kids love, right? So I mean, it's like you're taking... Honestly, I think it's just oh. to get some more color Whoa, in there. Oh, look at this, too. This. Oh, yeah, Zoe did that. Yeah. She glittered up the shell for us. Okay, so that is an amazing point. So not only are you artists creating art for your children, but you actually have your children involved in your art as well? Yes, slave labor. Yes. And uh, <laughs> if you look what, <laughs> here's what not to do. Don't give your kids markers and let them color on it thinking that the paint is gonna cover it. Cause look at this. Right. See these yeah, just covering scribbles? Markers. Oh. My two year old did that. Oh. And it doesn't really cover. Like I put so many coats of paint over top of that yellow stuff. Oh, yeah. It's just not really coming through. But, yeah. Yeah. It's mm. popping though, it's but whatever. Really... Mm -hmm. Oh, and let me teach you about this amazing mess. Hold on. Yes. David, here, pass the paint, paint marker, please. The black paint marker? Well, they're using yes. paint markers, by the way. There oh, you go. It's almost gone. My so friends, insane. go on Amazon and find, just type in acrylic painter, well, paint marker, whatever. I'm not brand loyal to this, but um, it's so awesome. You can get your kids to paint, and they can make, you know, not a perfect line. It's hard for adults to make a perfect paint line. But then you take the paint marker, which is acrylic paint. It's not, yeah. it's not pen, right? It's like actually acrylic paint. And you just draw and outline everything that they've done. And it turns the art into something that looks super pro. Nice. So that's yeah. our new little fun thing. No, this is about. my new favorite medium for sure. There's paint markers. I love also paint wow. markers on awesome. top of resin. Oh, yeah. Yes, they do. We might even have an example of that. Oh, great. Do you have yeah. an example of that on the wall there, Patrick? Possibly. They might have it still on the wall. Do they have it? Because I know it was maybe shipped off to England. Shipped off. So we did have an example of that. Uh, and it looked great. So just trust us. Uh, yes. Paint marker on resin looks awesome. But the video is available online. At our, uh, YouTube.com slash Yes. That's right. Okay. Do you think it be good? No. 
Oh. Are you trying to leave? I'm not trying to leave. I'm <laughs> trying to be... Here at Art Resin, we like to be... We like to work smarter, not harder. And I feel Damn. like it's smarter for me to not be lollygagging when these artists need to work. That's right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yes. Yeah. That's Thank you, Pat. That's the subject of my next art piece. It's a big Ooh. sign that says no lollygagging. No <laughs> big, like, circle with a cross through it. Good. Yes. My, my face. No lollygaggers. <laughs> yes. Oh, exactly. well, and here's an update. This has actually changed a little bit since the last time yeah. we saw it in the last live video. We're almost done. And look at this bad boy. It looks so nice. So nice. I'm just gonna make this laughing guy right there. Oh, get out of here. See? Oh, very cool. And then we have to put a uh, smiley face on the A <laughs> and some more details on the leaves. Oh, man. And we'll call it a successful project. Hell yeah, and then we'll resonate? it? Of course. Hell yeah, we will. And what will we use? So there? nice. <laughs> We're gonna use some art resin, which is a beautiful product oh, of uh, resin and hardener mixed together. Stir for three minutes <laughs> in a simple one to one ratio. Yep. Wow, I just went from four viewers to three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, okay, all right, okay, no plugging, no plugging, just... Terry, art. we'll do a quick uh, tour of some other stuff Yeah. that's going on. So this is just a big sign made out of resin pieces and resin tint. Almost done, I just put supports on the back to oh, really hold it. Very nice. So one more sanding, and then just finish it up. Look at that, look at the depth so of the screen. Great. All that, oh, so good. Yeah. Nice. What else? This mm -hmm. is a layer serving tray. Ooh. It was a Mother's Day gift that's quite late. <laughs> well, we just missed the last Mother's Day, but that's okay. Look, yeah. you've added a lot of color to it, dude. That's actually oh, really coming. nice. Yeah, it's coming Very along. nice. What else is going on? This is a piece for... Sorry, Pegasus there. This is a piece that Ooh. we just resin. It's going up in our house. Oh, and I just that. made this canvas out of old pieces of lumber. Like, look, those... It's, What's that wood? It's not plywood. MDF, thick MDF, and just two by twos. And this is where it's gonna hang from. And then I cut it in on an angle so it'll really oh, hold. See? And I resin the piece of wood on. Beautiful. And I resin the piece of wood on the back because this this bugger is heavy. Wow. Wow. It's gonna last forever. Amazing. Look at that. See the shininess. Mm. What else? It was good. We did. This is just something. Coral. Playing with coral. And then a little fairy thing that. Oh yeah, you're building kind of fairy, messed up. Fairy forest. Yeah. Oh, some original jasmine art here as well going on. I think we're gonna be using this for a few. Sup, fam? Oh, Jordan Kodak is oh, online. Jordan. Jordan. Jordan um, he did some uh, very nice woodwork for us. He's very talented as well. Jordan Kodak. What is it? Kodak. Kodak Classics. Classics. Very good stuff. Dot com. Kodak with a K. <laughs> the photography equipment. Yes. Wow, look at the brightness here. Wow, there's a lot of pink. So what are your kids' favorite colors, or do they love them all? They love them all. How dare you, David, from Jordan. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And a Blue Jay, is that for because you guys are huge Toronto Blue Jay fans? No. Oh, uh, we're huge Blue Jay fans. The bird. <laughs> of the bird? Yeah. yeah. Like that bird. The kids are just really into Blue Jays right now. Really? It's cool. What's that time of year? And you see so many of them right now. Are they around your property a lot? Yes, yeah. Amazing. So yeah, Blue Jays important. Cardinals too? You see Cardinals? Tons. Yeah. What's the other one? Rose-breasted grosbeak. Grosbeak, rose-breasted grosbeak. Rose breasted gross beak. So you've, you've uh, switched over, Rebecca, then to... Yeah, I had the wrong yellow and I squirted it all on top and it was the wrong shape. Oh, yeah. So we're just gonna pretend like I did that on purpose Absolutely. and blend her in and uh, don't worry about there it. There you go. Yeah. Well, that's it. Nice. Art can always be created, it's creative changed, and recreated. Yeah. What did uh, Picasso say? Oh, yeah. It's the imagination having fun or something like that. Something like that. Something like that. <laughs> it's really poignant and, yeah. Wow. So this panel is actually very Yeah, let's call this panel done. Wow. Oh, I had a rush. And this one's kind of long. Mm -hmm. This one here. Yeah, no and then there. this, yeah, this is, so this is little Zave and Zoe. Yeah. Very happy children. Yeah. With a beating heart. So nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. How was your sleep, Jeff? Uh, yeah, kids actually woke up 
Uh, 6.45 this morning, so Daddy got to sleep that's in a little bit, yeah. That was good. Yeah, I guess that's pretty good. Yeah, everybody out there, how about those artists out there that have children? I mean, are you creating with your children, or are you trying to find alone time? That's an interesting question. Children. Children and art. Children. Children and art, right? Well, this is the thing, like, we, we, when we started doing this painting, we did this so that they could work on it with us, and that way we got to make art, too, and... And they wouldn't interrupt us. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's hard having children and keep making art and keeping the art going. They suck all your energy and all your time. <laughs> but then once you, I remember seeing you guys, like once you start, even if it's, you're tired after putting them in bed or something, but then you go out and you just do some creating, yeah. that energy just flows right back in, right? Yeah, for sure. Yes, it's making it through that transition. Yes. It is the hardest thing. Because it's very easy to plunk your butt on the couch and be like, yeah. Nah. Meh. Yeah. I'm just going to stay here and look at social media or the pillow. <laughs> How's your writing coming, Jeff? That's coming along. Thank you for asking. It's, uh, I have to... Did you feedback, get the feedback? And I did get the feedback, and uh, so there's been a bit of a back and forth, and then I haven't gotten to the main creative, creative director yet, are you, so I still have to do a couple of alterations. Okay, but well you're still encouraged? That still encouraged. Jeff's the screenwriter. Yes. A... I guess I am. Yeah, I'm a, I am. I have sure. a, I have a film, and then I'm working on the next one, more of a big budget. So we'll see. Fingers crossed, people. Just Google Jeff Sterling. That's right. With an S. And you'll find me there, amongst the many, trying to make it Hustling. in the crazy world of Hollywood. Yeah. But <laughs> oh yeah, hey man, creativity—that's the best. That is the best. Yeah. If you got stories to tell, images to paint, get it out there. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Rebecca, yeah. what have you been thinking about lately? About art? You've been wanting to paint more. Well, yeah, that's funny. Joanne said, hey Vex, we need more art so we can resonate on the videos. And I was like, oh, well, then I'll have to make art. Hmm. Yeah. But, you know, it, but I had like this sense of like, oh, I'll have to do it. Therefore, I won't feel guilty about spending time on this thing that I love, which I thought was an interesting thought because why should I feel guilty about doing something that I love to do that makes me feel great? It's actually productive. And it's productive and, and enjoyable and... Absolutely. You know, humanizing. <laughs> Pause for one second. Uh, that Stitch Girl Arts just asked a question as to what are you painting on? We are painting on wooden panels. Yeah. So it's just, I'll show you the back of this one. It's the same. Prefabricated. It's just because we resin everything. Everything gets made. You get it at a good deal. <laughs> <laughs> so we just always buy, just buy wooden supports. Because then they don't, they're, they don't, um, Warp under the weight of the resin. That's so, right. Yeah, these guys. I think it's just birch. You can get them everywhere. Also, I just like painting on wood because there's no, you don't have to get, um, you don't have to go over a million times yeah. to, to get rid of the um, the texture of the fabric. Mm -hmm. You don't have to gesso wood. I freaking hate gessoing actually. Oh, okay, so you're just going straight on the actual board itself. Yeah, oh, here we go. A face so, and this, this is another one that I just made out of scraps. And all it is is just, this is just a piece of wood that I had in the garage. And I just put two by twos. Hi from Minnesota. And probably just screwed it and then patched it. And Hi, I'll, Deanne. I'll sand it down at the end and finish nice. it, but I probably should put a cross beam because it does look a little bit warped. But yeah, just build them your own, but wood is the best, in my opinion. Yeah, because even then with the canvas, it just pools in the middle and you don't want that, and you want a nice even coat. But, uh, but yeah, let's see. So what Dave will do is like that's really handy actually to go and find if you have scrap wood lying around, or yeah. take it and turn it into a canvas. I mean, if totally. you don't, if you don't want to just buy from the store, and make one, use of what you've got. And one thing that's interesting, and I remember learning about. Mm -hmm. uh, that's right, Roxy. I remember learning about a marketing strategy. They were they were selling remote controls, and. They ended up selling more remote controls and getting better reviews when they were heavier. That's all that they changed because heaviness, heaviness is like you perceive value in heaviness. So a really heavy painting, if you use just old scrap wood, sometimes you can 
people think it's more. People might think it's more expensive because it's heavy. Interesting. Which is perception, eh? Just uh, yeah. 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 Very cool. Interesting. That's true, though. Yeah. Yeah. Unless it's like a winter jacket, I perceive. Really? Yeah. I, well, no, that's not true. But sometimes I look for like. I want a heavy winter jacket. Yeah, but sometimes I look for lightweight things because I think that there's got to be some sort of technology in it that makes it lightweight and warm. Hmm. But that said, most of my jackets that are lightweight are not even warm, so there you go. Where are you from, Deanne? She's laughing at our winter jacket talk. Well, hey, it was winter like last week. So, yeah, you know. pretty much here, yeah. Canada. I know. But now it's beautiful. Yes, the weather, look at that. We've got sunshine. We can actually see green trees, blue sky. Tulips are done. Oh, tulips, yeah, we got them flowing. You guys got tulips around your property? Of course. Yeah. Do you? Yep. Yeah, it's exciting. Some nice time. yellow ones in the front. <laughs> Oh, I know. Minnesota sucks for winter. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, that's right. Dan from Minnesota. Oh, Minnesota. Actually, Minnesota, you're probably more north than we are. Yeah, yeah. We actually have a terrible winter. Oh, I hate winter. But it identifies the seasons, right? I mean, I think you can identify the year a lot better when you go through the different seasons as opposed to yeah. one long year of year after year after year of decent weather. That's what my mom used to say. It's putting a positive spin on the seasons. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's trying to look at it half full. But when you're standing in the winter and it's oh. miserable and slushy and bleh. Nothing worse. Anyway. It's so long. Yeah. Look how good we feel now, though. It's true. It's so easy to feel awesome. I think we'll get this done today. Yeah. 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 Look at that, guys. That's awesome. I had the stripes to fence. <laughs> Nine months. Yeah. Terrible. Yeah. Looking good. Well, this is awesome, guys. Thank you very much for... Uh, peek inside your artistic creations here. This is awesome. <laughs> Very colorful. We like, to, we like to do all kinds of things. Sometimes we make a, you know, just a fun little acrylic, whatever. Sometimes we do some more high realistic uh, oil. Sometimes Dave yeah. pulls out the multimedia. You never know what you're going to get. 3D anyway. pens, everything, yeah. Yeah. So hopefully we can do this more. And if you have any ideas or you want live videos or specific questions, then we can address them as we do these. Absolutely. Actually, that would be a great thing. Is potentially if we can even just do one panel, maybe we'll watch you resin one of the panels, so oh, yeah. you can see how the uh, resin hits these colors and watches it pop even more. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Oh, that's Stitch Girls. I'm so sorry. I missed your comment. That looked like there was a long thing. I didn't get a chance to read it. If you could resend it, I will read it out loud quickly because we're going to be signing off in about one minute. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, this looks really good. Question, I do, uh, this from Dia, I do acrylic painting on sheet canvas. If I use resin, do I have to glue the sheet down? I don't know what sheet I don't even know canvas what is. Oh, Probably a, pro yeah, or, oh, I don't know. If, 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 I don't really know what illustrates. I guess... If it is what we think it is, she can't. If it is what we think it is, then as long as when you wet it, it doesn't, it's, it's sturdy enough that it'll stay flat. I think you're fine, but yeah, maybe putting it on again so it has edges might really finish it nice. If you're talking about illustration board, which doesn't really have edges to it, like there's no depth to it, then just make sure that you, when you resin, you dome it right to the out to the edge, and you don't basically let the resin out over the edge and then... Is this it says it's a 9x12 in a tablet of art canvas. Is this a, is this a sheet canvas? Peel and paint. Yeah. This kind of thing. Is that it? Peel and paint? This is resin and dipping, right? Peel and, and that's just, I do acrylic pours and I just started getting into resin and I did a phone case and I was wondering what I did wrong because when it cured it completely took the paint off. Took the paint off? You were doing it into a plastic surface, it didn't make you a plastic. Well, it might. Maybe sand. Yeah, sand. It might be a really smooth surface you resin on. You paint it on. Yeah, so sand up, scratch it up a bit first. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, give it some tooth. Yeah, tooth. Try that. Because it's sticky stuff. Hopefully, sorry guys, hopefully that helped for a uh, brief thing. But this kind of live action, or if, if you do have questions, please send us any questions. Attach it to even to this uh, video when it, when it posts. But. Um, by all means, we will get back to you with any of those questions. And at the same time, as Dave was mentioning, I think if you have any ideas that you would like to see us doing live things, 
Uh, we're going to try and try and give people a little bit of notice that we're going to be doing live things. Um, so you can look forward to watching us do these in action. Otherwise, a lot of times, we're just going to pop in and do it. And yeah. hopefully you'll join us. Yeah, and that'll make us make more art. Yes. Yay! Yay! Okay, thanks for joining us. Thanks. Thanks, Jack. Bye! Alright, bye-bye. I do not know how to turn on... Oh, there we go. Nice, would be great. Alright, thanks, Deanne. Take care, bye-bye!